Welcome back to my channel, Edis English Literature. Today, we are going to discuss a beautiful poem by Thomas Gray, Elegy written in a country churchyard, and that is popularly known as Elegy. Uh, Thomas Gray, as you all know, has been a beginner of Romanticism, uh, a disciple of Dryden, uh, and he roughly uh, going through classicism partly partly romanticism uh, so here in this uh, blog i am going to discuss uh, as elegy um, as a transitional poem in the transitional in that sense and that uh, gray is neither a classical writer neoclassical writer nor a romantic writer he is in the middle way so he is a transitional poet Let's being a poet of transition, being a poet of transition from the neoclassical age to the romantic age, Gray is a grand admixture of classical and romantic tendencies of English poetry, because the caliber or the uh, perfect perfectness of his literary text is a classical bit, whereas. The humanism part is purely in the romantic path. So his elegy written in a country churchyard forms a transition, and uh, it best exhibits uh, a kind of a pre-beginning of romanticism that is called precursor of romanticism. So uh, this particular poem is very historically important. Uh, so to uh, pinpoint a transitional phase of uh, writing of English or the maturity of the English poetry from neoclassical age to the romantic age. Gray uh, began his writing as a classical writer but he ended as a romantic. So the tradition of Dryden and Popian writing and that's uh, a kind of a classical neoclassical or the tradition of following the greek uh, classical period uh, has been uh, the very beginning features of his writing poetry that we can find out many of his poems for granted uh, you can take uh, ode to spring uh, ode to ode on distant prospect of eton college and hunt adversity these are the poems where we can find out Gray as a um, classical writer, but day by day and as the uh, maturity of his poem proceeded, uh, he becomes more a class, more a romantic writer. And uh, there is there is a, a birth of new feelings of humanism in his writing, even the love for nature. Which is, uh, which is found in Ode to Evening uh, is certain characteristics of Romanticism are present in Elegy. Uh, first of uh, all, the Elegy expresses a kind of a sympathy uh, with a lot of common people who lived far away from the madding ground and spent their days in huts and cottages. If I, if I go through the text, you can, you can easily easily uh, get the point the curfew tolls the nail of parting day the lowing hard wind slowly over the lee the flowman homeward floods his weary way and leaves the world of darkness unto me so the it it first begins with the ringing bell with that of sheep slowly uh, returning from field all such um, a homely atmosphere of the village scene is romantic, but the people with which these fellow fellow farmers or all these lives are romantic. They are simple men, nothing classical. That sort of that sort of classical uh, elements um, or this hard chop great persona that we find in the classical poetry is missing here. Rather, that's human soul or 
or the simplicity of the hu human being or the simple human being who are either to living in our earth who are close to nature is being highlighted and that's a romantic feature but again this adoration of the simple people's essence simple people's life and they are uh, they are uh, lively annals of all these uh, features of their daily accounts of living is a romantic trait and Gray introduced it in the elegy by commemorating the life of the simple people living in the country surroundings. So this is purely a romantic feature. Secondly, in the, in the elegy you can also have a melancholy and pessimistic note that uh, that has been later cultivated by the romantic poets particularly Keats and Shelley has nurtured these particular features the love for nature the landscape and the sol solitary atmosphere the night the haunted places where howl woods all clearly shows that the poet has caught the spirit of romanticism or rather he has started the journey of or he has started towards nature and towards the people who live among the uh, natural beauty and natural appeals. So it's a journey towards humanity and it's a journey towards romantic creativity. So his is the journey in elegy from, from a creative uh, classical writer towards that of romantic humanism. The elegy when it was written uh, is a transitional period in which Gray was passing through. In fact, if we uh, dive deep into the poetry, we can find out that it is not a genuine po romantic poetry, rather it moralizing the conventional uh, and please the 18th century readers for that very reason scores of poem were written at the time in which thoughts was neither above nor below that of elegy. So it has been stated that the elegy is um, pleasing the 18th century audience with that of classical but but somewhere somewhere to and some to some extent the romantic feelings is underneath flowing. It is um, the thought that we are uh, classical thought that we are talking about is um, flowing with that of elegy and those poems which were published uh, at that neoclassical period also carry a parallel features of these things and these poems were um, all together all these poems uh, that were written uh, during that time is no more so popular uh, they are perished somehow we can say but elegy survives what is the reason for survival of the elegy the elegy survives because it is not a a, a very a very face saving attitude towards romanticism rather a genuine journey to the romanticism but Gray has not yet, uh, not yet, uh, has uh, lived the very burden of uh, being a classical writer. So, being a classical, he has tried a journey towards romanticism. That's fairly uh, clear in this elegy, and that is in again we can we can peep through, if we can peep through into the. Uh, very text we can say that the contribution grace contribution to the church yet school alive and popular through the changes is the taste of absolute perfection of language you know uh, the the way the way he has stated the country church yet and the very nearby surroundings is altogether appealing the felicity and the beauty that is at once uh, we 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 can take the very sentiment of gray the, the, it ensures uh, its immortality and in the fact that deservedly gives it the first place in Gray's literary productions because the immortality or the immortal nature that Gray has presented through Churchyard is that the nature of the human life that is, that is the, the cycle of life 
the cycle of life that is immortal that is never ending a journey from life to, uh, from birth to that of death to that of grave but the journey continues and that journey even though that journey encompasses so many people who are unknown unseen but the journey continues and it is called the civilization that very tone has been preserved and that's why being a classical it is romantic so, simply though it is not romantic but grace this particular elegy is far removed from his earlier writing here is a genuine tone that is not uh, uh, that, that can we never uh, pass by we if we enter into the poem of elegy we must read uh, we must have to read the very essence of life that very essence of romantic uh, features that uh, that is in the mood that stands in between the classicism and lightly uh, an imaginary a period and a kind of imagination is there further the composition of these elegy shows that a perfect distinction that its author was passing through a period of transition. So here, from somewhere a classic, but nowhere a classic because his mind is leading towards romanticism. Some village cattle with dauntless breast, the little torrent his field withstood. Some mute in glorious stability had may rest. Some Caesar Pulitzer of this country's plot. So, this the style of composition where it clearly states that those classical features are side by side placed with simple people. The simplicity of the people is the greatest trait of these people who can be remembered as glorious as those persons who are historically famed. So, it is a romantic attitude. The fact that Gray should originally have put down the Latin names and afterwards inserted in their place the names of the um, Milton, Compton, all, all, all Cromwell and other names were given the English look is also a tendency towards romanticism. Uh, leaving that burden of classical learning, he has entered into the romantic or the very like of the people he lives within or he knows. Uh, the person with whom they have the family identity. So, it's a uh, romantic attitude. So, there has been a pseudo-classicism, a circle of uh, pseudo-classicism. Uh, he made up his mind that English historical examples were equal in dignity to those of the taken from Latin text is very romantic. It was a long step forward towards nationalism. and a perhaps a small thing in itself as an index to a profound change going in Gray's mind. So the transition that happens in Gray's mind is the result elegy. So uh, we can say the elegy abounds with images which find a mirror in every mind with sentiments to which every bluesome returns an echo that Dr. Johnson says, it itself, he was a, the elegy as well, Gray's elegy as well as the poet himself, is full of traditional beliefs, traditional motifs, but perfectly admixture of classical and modern. And that's the beauty of this elegy. The text, if I get the opportunity I will explain later but you must learn that what is transition that transition is itself the period that transition itself the author whose mind is transitioning from the neoclassical towards romanticism a great leap forward and a great precursor of romantic poetry who paves the way for Wordsworth for um, Coleridge Keats and Sally in the romantic period, a journey towards humanism. I think uh, this short and brief lecture might have helped for your understanding, better understanding for Thomas Gray's elegy. 
and if you like my post if, if you like my vlog you can easily subscribe here and if you have any queries regarding any of these texts or related other things you can post me you can also join me in my uh, vlog uh, in my www.ordhendude.blogspot.com where I regularly write uh, but uh, presently due to some constant I am not writing I will write uh, after a few days uh, so you can also join in there okay have a nice day bye bye